Let's get right to it. What is a tech stack? A tech stack is a combination of various technologies that are stacked one over the other to build an end-to-end -end application. Every company has one. It's their digital fingerprint. It's a list of technologies they used, often broken down by silo. Now, what does that mean? It means if you use Microsoft at the OS level, you're probably going to use them at the database level also. Here's an example. I've worked with SQL Server for most of my career. SQL Server is a Microsoft product, and it means the OS will often be Windows, the SQL flavor will be Transact SQL, the ETL tool will be SSIS, and the cloud will often be Azure. Why? Because all these products come from the same vendor, Microsoft. Microsoft bundles a lot of stuff together with SQL Server. If you purchase the relational database, SQL Server, you get SSIS, an enterprise ETL tool on par with anything else out there. You get a horrible reporting tool called SSRS. I don't like it, but free is free. You also get a suite of BI tools. Because Microsoft bundles up a lot of these toys when you purchase SQL Server, companies use these other free tools and services. All these things are part of the company's tech stack. Here's a real-world job posting. Notice the core skills they want the candidate to have. SQL, the top requirement for all data engineering roles. SQL Server, the database vendor you'll be working with. ETL, which is likely going to be SSIS. And Transact SQL. This is a SQL flavor that SQL Server uses. Now, if you've heard me say SQL is SQL, what I mean is that the basics are the same. However, every vendor has their own flavor of SQL. Microsoft has Transact SQL. Oracle has PLSQL. BigQuery uses ANSI SQL. Snowflake uses Snow SQL. Now, why does this matter to you as a data engineer? Because a big part of working as a data engineer is moving data around the company. If you don't have any knowledge of the ETL tool being used, and you don't understand the processes involved, like CI, CD, how on earth are you going to do your job? Now, if you're thinking, no worries, I'm going to be a machine learning engineer. This doesn't matter to me. My answer to you is, then you don't understand what machine learning engineers do. Most machine learning is working with data, and by most, I mean 85% or more. How are you going to create a data cleansing pipeline or a data sourcing pipeline if you don't understand the basics of data movement? Not only that, data sourcing isn't data cleansing. Yes, I create pipelines for both, but they're different kinds of pipelines. One will be used to bring all the data together, and one's going to be used to cleanse all that data. Now, let's confuse you even further. These data pipelines have nothing to do with creating a Python pipeline used to prevent data leakage or combine various other aspects of coding. At this point, I think you're starting to see why data engineering and machine learning are highly technical roles. A tech stack are all the various technical tools you'll be working with at a specific company. All companies are going to have their own tech stack, and you'll be expected to know or expected to learn what they are. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And of course, have a great day. We'll see you soon.